A journey of thousand miles begins with a single step, right? So today, Toastmaster Ritu will be taking her first step towards this journey of Toastmasters by giving her icebreaker speech. The purpose of this project is for the member to introduce herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. All the best, Toastmaster Ritu. Ritu, what a beautiful Hindu name given to me by my parents. It symbolizes the seasons that Mother Nature has offered us all year round. Similar to various seasons that complete a year, I too have had various seasons in my life, which shapes me to become who I am today. Good morning, my fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I am here today to share four stories of my life, four stories of such four seasons in my life. They are the um, writer Ritu, the chat friend Ritu, the career driven Ritu, and the insecure Ritu. The uh, writer Ritu, since I, since I was the youngest and the last born child of my parents, I did not have siblings or cousins my age in the same household when I was growing up. I used to write journals from middle school to high school to record all of my feelings and mischievousness that I couldn't directly share with my parents or my family. On one day, one day uh, on the request of my very close group, close group of friends, I made them read certain pages of my diary. They were immediately hooked and wanted to read everything from start to finish and also praised me for my English writing and communications, uh, writing and storytelling skills. The chat friend Ritu, me and my friends were in school when the internet technology via dial-up hit Nepal, and we were hooked into the internet, especially using MSN Messenger and Nepal News chat room. It, um, gone were the days of pen pals. Now we were, we were having chat friends from abroad and in Nepal. ASL, we used to ask each other, which meant age, sex, and location. This is how I first started networking with students from other schools of the valley. And surprisingly, I am still in touch with them till date. Combining the writer Ritu and the chat friend Ritu, I realized that I developed my written communication skills early in my life, but I still struggle to find an outlet for a more better verbal communication. The career driven Ritu. Out of curiosity of what an office would feel like, and also to add some extra pocket money, I decided to immediately work after high school. Later in my life, I realized that my work taught me more things about me than my field or the organizational behavior. I was working directly under managing directors and chief executive officers, and also managing four team members of my own in the first time that I was a supervisor. Challenging projects landed on my plate one after the another. And um, this is how I actually learned to lead projects and people. Saying yes to opportunities presented and working hard until I achieved my goals um, often landed me in positions or situations where I was the only young female leader in a room or table full of male, much more senior colleagues but I never let my age, gender, or my physical attributes define me or overshadow my career. The insecurity. Being in a profession that deals with employees every single day, I could not sound as charming or as tactful that I was on paper or emails. I remember a point in, uh, point in my life when I had to present uh, about a project that me and my team members uh, we're working on for the last one year. The presentation was to be delivered to 500 employees in four di different locations of Nepal. I knew that this was my opportunity for me and my team to shine, and I did not hesitate to grab this opportunity as well. All of the, my preparations had been made with the help of my team members, my slides, my points, my audiovisual engagements, everything was prepared. But however, while delivering the first speech or presentation, I, saw, I was so swallowed with nervousness, thinking about the 500 employees staring back at me with their 500 judgments. My heartbeat grew faster every minute and uh, my feet were shaking throughout the presentation. After the presentation, some people came and told me that uh, my presentation and content were good. And some people came to, tell, to, uh, came to tell me that I was too nervous 
and I spoke too fast. The latter comment I had heard many times in the past as well. At that moment, I felt like I had let my team down. All of the ritus that I've lived so far has brought me here in front of you today to become a better version of myself. She knows that she will conquer this battle between her insecurities and fears to become a better communicator and a presenter. With her determination, I practice to speak on the Toastmasters platform with one step at a time. She is now the believer Ritu, the one who believes that this season will change too for the better. Over to you, Toastmaster Pratiksha. General Evaluator. Toastmaster Ritu, today you were like the Basanta Ritu, you know, the spring season where everything's come alive and is full of energy. You are new to the Toastmasters, but you are full of confidence. The level of confidence you had for your first speech, I must say it was remarkable right from the beginning. It was amazing to see you opening up to us and describing the four Ritus that you are, even the insecure Ritu, which was courageous because it was personal. The whole thing about Icebreaker is not just to find that courage to speak, but to be able to tell the story of who you are as a person, and I believe you conveyed it perfectly. You introduced yourself as the meaning of your name and the season, which is divided into four parts, and you connected all your life story with this four season, and it showed organization and consistent throughout your speech. The introduction, body, and conclusion were all tied up to this core message that you have is that you are like the seasons of Europe and you are someone who is a mixture of good leader, a good writer, a hard worker, and a person who is determined to conquer her insecurities. And one thing that I want to highlight is that your friends were very right when they said that you had good communication skills. However, I would also like to suggest two things that is going to make you an even better speaker. Number one is the pace. I'm very happy that you recognize that you speak fast. So you're already halfway towards improvement because recognizing your shortcomings is very important if you want to improve. So I suggest you to take pauses, take breaks between sentences so it would be easier for the audience to process what you have said and be able to grasp your message. As you speak, slow down a bit and use varieties of tone in your vocal to express different feelings like seriousness, happiness, or sadness. And this helps to break that monotony of voice as well. Second is the hand gestures and expression. I saw you were clasping your hands a lot of time, so it would be better if you free your hand, just let it express what you want to say. Maintaining that expression, hand gestures, or eye contact will help you connect with the audience and show the story, not just tell it. So Toastmaster Ritu, you already are a good speaker because you are clear of what you want to reflect in your speech. You have that clarity in your voice. But if you work on these few things, then I believe it would make you a captivating speaker. I cannot wait to see you conquer this public speaking skill. Over to you, Toastmaster. 